Hey you guys, so let me adjust this camera so it's not looking weird. You have to excuse me you guys, I'm getting over a cold. My baby had his first cold, yes he's almost three months, this time goes by so fast huh? He's almost three months old, he had his first cold, he got over it like that. I got sick, then Papa Bear got sick, and so yeah, I'm getting over it. So you may see me sipping my tea every now and then. <coughs> it's hot as hell. Sorry, y'all. I am jumping on the bandwagon of making my own hair products. Now, I have used recipes before, uh, such as the Kimmy Tubes uh, leave-in recipe, which I'll be letting you guys know what I did to kind of tweak that one a little bit. Um, but... I purchased some additional hair products to continue making a, uh, a spray, a leave-in spray, uh, and then also some shea butter creams. I am so excited about that, you guys. I, for the longest, wanted to stay away from shea butter, even though I use products that have shea butter, but to actually use raw shea butter in its raw form, I was a little hesitant and afraid, to be quite honest. <laughs> So y'all, let's start off with the Kim A tubes because that's the very that's the easiest one. So for almost a year, I've been using this recipe. All right, y'all. Um, I normally use the Garnier Garnier Slick and Shine. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. The Slick and Shine. This is great on my hair. Some people don't like it, but this is great on my hair. I had literally that much love. So to this container, I added that new net leave in for curly hair love love the hell out of this y'all what I added to this was um, two tablespoons of my essential oils y'all know I have like six or seven different oils I put in my hair excuse me I'm so sorry y'all then I added a la aloe very gel uh, normally she says to add the juice but I ran out of juice ironically I was ordering gel to make my shea butter creams for later on so I added a little bit of gel to this and that's what I'm going to be using as a leave-in for the next until this is done basically all right so before I get into the misting spray um, let's go into the products that I use to kind of put that together so of course I have vegetable glycerin you guys you know this is a uh, humidic kit so this is great for moisturizing your hair one of the things I read about a little bit of information I read about specifically for glycerin is that it works better when you mix it with water okay this is 100% pure from now foods I purchased a lot of this stuff through well I purchased all of it to be quite honest through amazon.com with the exception of the new net leave-in um, and then also, in addition to the vegetable glycerin, I have 100% lavender oil. Now, you guys heard me saying that I was going to be trying some new oils. The lavender oil was one of them. Funny, though, look how much, all you need is a few drops. It's right here. And I've been using it for a month. <laughs> this stuff is going to last me for two years. I've been putting it in my baby's bath to calm him before um, he goes to bed. I put it in my bath. I put it in trash cans. I put it on the edges of my hair. And I also put it in my spray. So what this recipe is, you guys, and just to let you know, I'll be putting the recipes down below along with the ingredients, along with where I purchased the products from, all right? I put it in this old revitalizing leave-in conditioner by Jane Carter because I love the way it mist. See the way it mist? You see that? How it does it all over? I don't like that one direction. I want it misting all over. And I've already been using this today just to freshen up my hair. Ignore Exhibit A. Uh, this is an old twist out that I'm trying to maintain with some bands. So, the recipe. What you do is you add one part. <laughs> now it really look crazy, huh? You add one part of the vegetable glycin, glycerin to five parts of water and then you add a few drops of any essential oils that you have and I added five drops of the lavender oil to this so when I mean part so for example if you add half a cup of the vegetable glycerin that's not even gonna be a fourth of a cup of vegetable glycerin you need to add five fourth of a cups of water into this that makes sense alright y'all again I'll put everything below in the description box then 
Next, part two of this video basically is going to be me making my shea butter. You know what? I'm not going to... Y'all not going to see me making them. I mean, there's tons of videos of other YouTubers making um, their shea butter creams. I'm just going to go ahead and go into detail what I'm going to do in part two of this video. But I am going to make two different types. I only have here, I don't know how much this is. This isn't a, a lot, but that's okay. I don't want a lot. I wanted enough just to have like a trial run. And then I'll order some more based on the recipes. So y'all, I'm going to do two different types of recipes. Let me take this out. I look a mess. <laughs> I'm going to do two different recipes. I'm going to do the one where it's basically just the oils and the shea, bu and the shea butter. And then I'm going to do one that is the aloe vera gel. Uh, I believe it's uh, coconut oil. And I think some some recipes call for honey, but I'm not going to do honey because it's, it's a hamannican, basically. Um, but aloe vera gel the coconut oil, and then the shea butter, okay? And you mix it all with your mixture, your mixer, and that's it. So, you guys, I'm really excited about this. This has been working well. I mean, I need to stop. I'm going to take this to work. I'm going to start spraying it on white people. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, excited about making my own hair products, saving me some money because with this child and with daycare, it ain't no joke, all right? So, y'all stay tuned for part two of this video where you will see me basically either... I, I think I'm going to go ahead and have it already made up so you guys can see what it looks like and then possibly go ahead and demonstrate uh, one of the recipes on camp. So, take care, you guys. Bye. Hey, you guys. So, I'm in one of my guest bedrooms, which is why it's different. Um, this is going to be a Frankenstein video because I'm putting together bits and pieces when I have time to record. So I wanted to tell you guys what I actually did with the shea butter mixture. I ended up taking the entire mixture, dumping it out, and I noticed it looked like it wasn't a lot. So I went ahead and added two tablespoons of my oils, and then um, I would say three tablespoons of the aloe vera gel. Okay, so when I started to mix, I was like, this is still very hard. It was so hard that the mixture started coming up on the mixing blades. So I was like, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and spoon some out and put it together with my Cantu leave-in replenishing cream. I know that's a little crazy. Um, and once I did that, I ended up having a lot. So I put... Um, the mixture that I didn't combine with the uh, Cantu replenishing cream inside of this old Queen Helen cholesterol. This has 15 ounces. There's holes in here. I tried to compact it down as much as I could. I would say I have about 14 ounces in here, you guys. And this is what it looks like. This is the consistency. It's still pretty smooth. Not as smooth as I thought it would be. The smell smells like butters. It smells like almost like cocoa butter but not really okay um when I was putting it on my hair I did use I'll show you the what I used to reset or to redo these semi mini twists I should say um so yeah this is gonna last me for a long long time because again this is about 14 ounces but the mixture that I do like was the one I scooped out and put with my Cantu replenishing cream I think that's what it's called y'all uh, excuse me I'll have everything below in, in the description box but of course I have it in the curl enhancing smoothie and then I got the Cantu top on top of this y'all I'm all over the place this shirt is really smooth um, and of course it would be so this is how smooth and creamy it is this is the consistency I was looking for. And this is about, um, this container itself is 12 ounces. I would say there's about two ounces in here. And I already used some to reset, to, or to do the same mini twist that you see here. Which, you can't really see that well because it's a little bit dark back here. There we go. Um... And so, yeah, I love this homemade product, you guys. Love, 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 love. Excuse the camera coloring. Love it. And like I said before, I'll have everything below in the description box. Um, what you should see me next is me describing how I created this protective style. And y'all have to excuse me. Let me take it down some. 
you're gonna see I'm gonna explain what I did I don't like it <laughs> so what I'm gonna end up doing is wearing my hair up for the next four or five days if I even go anywhere I'm going to wear it today so I'll just wear it up and you really can't see the coloring is weird back here for some reason so you guys use your imagination yeah, I'll probably end up wearing it up in some updo, but it's still protective and I did. So, let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about with this hairstyle. Hey you guys, so I'm going to take down these uh, semi mini twists set with perm rods. And I'm not going to say much after this because it's like 5 o'clock in the morning here. I did end up retwisting using the very, very whipped um mixture of the shea see how whipped it is it's very creamy and again i haven't used the first recipe yet so you guys let me tell you what i did to i uh, basically get this particular hairstyle normally when i do semi mini twists i just go ahead and do all the semi mini twists in one day well i don't have that type of time right now with my baby and working from home um so i basically twisted my hair about a week ago with about 12 medium sized twists seven days later i took those twists down and retwisted into basically i took one twist and made two or three twists out of that one medium twist that gave me about 35 semi mini twist as you see here I did this in my mini twist over the span of two days so they gave me enough time to really you know uh, set my hair I also set it with the second recipe that again the uh, ingredients will be below in the description box don't really care for this hairstyle down but I can definitely rock some updos unfortunately you won't see me um, with an actual updo in this particular video but you can get the concept here with me playing around with my hair For like a week I'm working from home all next week so I can just basically be at home like this typing <laughs> so y'all tried I wanted this to work look at this this is not even oh, braided how did it come on braid yeah so y'all I also dusted my hair at least I tried can you, yeah. Yeah, well you can see, I really did. There's nothing there, love hanging. You guys, what this product, how this product does. So, take a little bit. <laughs> Lord have mercy, how did I miss that? Y'all see how long my hair is getting? Oh yeah, girl got shoulder length hair. I ain't got no neck though, so that doesn't count. <laughs> Alright you guys, I will probably wear this all week. Cause like I said, I ain't got nowhere to go. Um, and then what I will do is I will come on cam and take it down. It should be a banging ass twist out, right? Um, and then I'll probably put the perm rods back in a day before I take it down. And that would have been, I've had my hair in this protective style for about 16 days. And it's going good. It's a little itchy. Um, with it being right, right now, it's, it's it's ninth day. I'm in my ninth day. this pumpkin mama doesn't like this mama doesn't like her hair should I wig it up Ye no okay <laughs> all right you guys take care